Hey friends, today we're going to talk about keyframes. So keyframe editing allows you to set different intensities of the same effect in a scene. To demonstrate, let's apply some keyframes in this scene. So we have this guy jumping here. Let's preview the clip. Okay, so okay, so let's let's move the cursor at the beginning of the scene. So this is the selected clip. And let's go to let's say color. Okay. So now we have this field here that defines our keyframes. You can hide it if you click this these two arrows. Okay. So now we can uh, increase the saturation of this scene. So the cursor is at the beginning of the scene and we just drag this cursor here. As you can see the the color is getting brighter. Okay. Now we click this symbol, this square, and we have a keyframe. Then we just slide the cursor further. As you can see the color is the same, it's sharp, very sharp. But now we can set a new keyframe and turn this scene into black and white. So we just drag the cursor back and further back. And now this scene is in black and white. So if we go to the beginning of the scene and preview it, you can see that it will go from uh, highly saturated to black and white. Now this happens too fast because the distance between these two keyframes is too short. So we can just drag this keyframe further away. So it will only start to, to go to black and white at the end of the clip. We do this again. Okay, now that we have this, these two keyframes, we can add another effect. For instance, we can go to sharpness. First, let me go to the beginning of the clip. So we can start this clip with, uh, with a blur effect. So just blur this a little. As you can see, I have a new, a new track for a new keyframe, for the new effect. So we have a track for saturation keyframes and now we have another track for artistic blur. If we click this symbol here, we can see the curves. We have curves in the, in the footage and we can easily play with the effect just by dragging the curve. But I'm not going to use that. So we have the first keyframe at the beginning of the clip, so the clip is now blurred. We can go a few seconds away, set the artistic blur to zero, so we have again the, the video in full sharpness. And now as we play it, it will look like a, a lens effect, a lens blur. So we have two effects, both uh, that are managed with, with keyframes. The first is saturation, you can see the keyframes here and here. And the second is artistic blur. And if we want, we can add another effect, but we won't do that. So this is how the result looks.